Ambulances start and finish their shifts at the ambulance station, but during a shift they could end up anywhere within the northeast region. So they will get probably their first call of the day within their local region, and then they could end up anywhere across the northeast because they move between hospitals and emergency calls. And we'll always send the ambulance that's nearest to the call first. We try and maintain ambulance cover in those more rural areas due to the distance travelled to patients and the distance to hospitals. So when a vehicle moves out of an area, we do move another vehicle into that area, a little bit like playing chess, to make sure that we've got that area covered so if more emergency calls come in, then there's availability of an ambulance in that area. When you dial 999, that doesn't necessarily mean you receive an emergency ambulance. We have various different ways of getting the best response to you when you call us. We'll prioritise your call based on how serious your condition is. We've got four different categories of response. So we start off with category one, which was for life-threatening emergencies. It's the most serious category. We aim to be with you within 15 minutes in nine out of 10 cases. Category two is the next level down, and that's for serious conditions such as stroke or chest pains. And in those instances, we aim to be with you in nine out of 10 cases within 40 minutes. Category three is for urgent calls where you need some kind of clinical treatment or advice, but it's not a serious emergency. And we aim to be with you in nine out of 10 cases within two hours. Category four is um, the, the lowest of our categories where it may be that you won't necessarily receive an ambulance or when the ambulance arrives, they'll give you advice. And we aim to be with those cases in nine out of 10 times within three hours. Sometimes it feels like an ambulance has taken a long time to arrive. Our health advisors will take the caller through a safe triage to make sure that the patient is categorised at the right level for the ambulance response. They will also make sure that you're given some pre-arrival advice to look after that patient until the ambulance arrives. Sometimes an ambulance can be delayed. This is possibly because they've been redirected to a higher priority call. However, our team will maintain contact with the caller to make sure that the patient is safe until that ambulance arrives. We ask our callers to only call us back if the patient's condition deteriorates. We need our health advisors to be available to take other calls coming in. We do have your call and we will send an ambulance to you. People imagine that if you arrive at hospital in an emergency ambulance, you'll burst through the doors like they do on Casualty or Holby City, but that isn't necessarily the case. Um, when you arrive by ambulance, you'll be triaged in the same way as you would be whether you arrived in your own transport or whether somebody brought you. You should only call 999 when it's an emergency or life-threatening. There are other options available to you, such as your GP, 111 online or your pharmacy.